So Bridlington Spire is hosting what we call an experience day for Hull and East Yorkshire Children's University. We're working with Hilderthorpe Primary School, giving children the experience of what it would be like to work in certain jobs in the communications industry. And obviously as an entertainment venue, it fits quite nicely for them to come here and experience those roles. Well, one of the council's main priorities is helping children and young people achieve. So by working with Hilderthorpe Primary School as a council-owned venue, Bridlington Spa can help achieve that corporate priority. It's about raising aspirations and widening the children's horizons so they realise that there are lots of jobs out there that they've not discovered yet and have no idea that they're there for them to take. Seeing the children's reactions to the jobs that they can do and the fact that the, the, the opportunities are there for them and they just need to take them. Yes, yeah, so it's really important for uh, Children's University and the Council to work together um, just so that we can offer the broadest range of experiences possible for children um, and just so that we can kind of um, broaden their horizons. Seeing the confidence of the kids coming out, so when they're first starting the day and they're quiet and they're shy and seeing by the time they get to the, the end of the day I'm just chatting away to each other, they're really happy to answer questions and you can just see them really coming out of their shell and really getting into the experience which is exactly what we hope for from the, from the children. For me, you take for granted what the difference is we do with children in the local area and just to see the faces of the young children, to be able to see what actually is able for them to achieve in this setting is, is quite remarkable and the impact I think will last forever. We all remember those special memories from when we went on school trips. This is one of the special memories that they'll remember.